Good evening, Anna. Good evening, teacher. How's it going? How's it going, Anna? How are you? Anna, how are you? Hi, Tisha. Great. How was your day? It was tired. Tired, okay. Good evening, Dennis. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, and you? I'm pretty well. How was your day? Um, so so, very quiet. Oh, okay, that's good. In the platform, Dennis, have you finished? Yes, teacher. You're done. Yes, I have done. All the work, okay. Did you get your certificate? Yes, but uh, one firm don't appear. Oh, the signatures? Yes, signature. Really? Then have you reported to maybe no. Elena or Jason maybe can no. help you? Not yet. Oh, okay. And then there's also another thing. It may appear in a second page. Have you checked that? Sometimes a, no, the, is, a is, certificate appears in two different pages. Appear, so, appear um, as broken image. Oh, really? Yeah, then you should report it to to Elena, maybe. Okay. Yeah, the contacts are in our WhatsApp group. Just look for them over there. Or in case you, you cannot find them, just let me know. I can help you. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Good evening, Fabricio. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Thanks. And you? I'm pretty good. How was your day? Uh, it's a bus. Oh, yes, what did you do? Uh, I worked from home. I uh, taking care of your kids. Uh -huh. yes, How many kids care do you have? Uh, two, two kids. Okay. Are they yes. little? Uh, one little for years, and other. And Fabricio, have you finished with all the work in the platform? Yes, teacher. Monday. You're done. Finish okay. the platform. All right. Excellent. Thank you, teacher. And what do you think about this intermediate course, guys? Have you learned um, about the topics? I mean, what do you think about them? Have they been difficult or easy? What do you think, Dennis? Um, I think it's, it's, it is more difficult. Oh, okay. Because, because um, 
I try to to speak in in escuchar listen and, and listen uh, all time in English yes uh, is is more it's more difficult and uh, I try not not use Spanish and I try remember uh, all all time uh, in the in the and the, in the section, for example, for okay. present pa present perfect, simple past, uh, simple future, uh, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It's, it's very, very hard. Okay. Yeah, it's just a matter of practicing. You must continue practicing and you're going to get fluent in the language. All of a sudden, you're going to yeah. feel comfortable with it. So just keep on practicing. That's the key. Sure, sure. Thank you, teacher. Anna, what do you think about the course? What can you tell me? The course? Yes. So how have you felt in the intermediate one course? Um, I... I don't know the question. I don't understand, teacher. Oh, ¿Cómo se ha sentido con este curso? ¿Qué piensa al respecto? No sé, estaba difícil, fácil, ¿qué tal? Um, the platform, it, it was okay. I like it. Okay. And in this, this course help me for remember remember a different different um, items or different tema or como topics. se dice tem topics. topics yes i forgot it uh, i forgot a little a little topics but okay. it was okay very okay you are, you know, you know, you know how to, how to explain the topic, the different topic. I like it, teacher. Oh, thanks, Anna. I'm glad to hear that you, that you got the, the right review for the topics. So it's pretty nice that you got some practice and you got to remember them. Yes. Fabricio, what do you think about the course? Uh, it's, it's a great experience. It's a very difficult to hear the class only in English and instruction. Okay. Uh, and not understood. A few things. All right. And I learn. I learn. Learn many. I learn and understand many new things. It's a uh, very happy. And, uh, I learn. I learn more. And, <laughs> Good evening, Jose Angel. Good evening, Miss. How are you? Good evening. Fine, thanks. Great. How was your day? Uh, I'm okay. All right. And tell me about the curse, Jose Angel. How do you feel with the intermediate one curse? Have you liked uh, it? Have you felt it difficult, easy, or I mean, what can you tell me? Easy. It's been easy. Easy. Yes. 
Yeah. Okay. Dynamic. Dynamic. Oh, all right. Yeah. That's nice. Good evening, Maria de Rosario. Hi, Good evening, Mrs. How are you? I'm very tired. Tired. Did you have to work today? Yes. You did. Okay. All day. Oh, that's tiring. <laughs> yeah. And tell me about the curse, Maria de Rosario. I'm asking um, your reactions or your what your feelings about the curse. How have you felt yes, with the intermediate one? Uh, for me, it's um, very easy. Uh, I like the intermediate. Uh, All right. Easy. Just easy. All right. That's nice. Yes. Good evening, Brenda. Good evening, Miss. How are you? Fine, and you? Pretty well. How was your day? Uh, very busy. Very busy, okay. And Brenda, have you finished with all the work in the platform? Uh, yes. You're done. Okay, nice. And what do you think about the intermediate one curse? Mm. Uh, the topic new uh, little difficult uh, mm. for example uh, uh, will uh, will and do like a new new topic okay so it's been a little difficult but you have managed to to pass it that's good Okay, so I think we're ready to start with today's session and well, we're almost done. We're just missing one class and we're done with the intermediate one. And we're almost intermediate two steps. So let's continue by reviewing the, the uh, future. Yesterday we talked a little bit about the future we'd be going to. Today we are going to review the use of will. Yeah, first of all, let me tell you that we use the future with will to talk about an event in the future that you have just decided to do for predictions and also for promises. For example, when I say, I think I'll go to that party next week, I think I'll go. So maybe I just decided about it. And then I'm not sure, I say, I say, I think, I think I'll go. So it may be that I will or I will not. Next example, can you help me to read it, Anna? The economy will get better soon. Okay, in that case, we're talking about a prediction. The economy will get better soon. We're hoping that, right? We're expecting it to happen. Then the next example, Dennis, can you help me to read it? Yes, I will marry you. Okay, so that one is a promise, right? It's a promise that you're making, I will marry you. So those are the uses for will. Then about the, the structure that we use for sentences using will, it's pretty easy, as you may remember. We keep the same form for all the subjects and we only have um, will, then the verb in the base form and that's it. In the positive form or in the affirmative form, we got the structure. First of all, we need a subject, then we use will, then the verb, and then a complement. And we get sentences like, I will come to the party or you will come to the party. And it doesn't change for any of the persons or any of the subjects. 
we even use will come for she, he, or it, the third person. We may say she will come to the party. So it doesn't really change in any way. Then for the negative, we use the subject, then we use will, and then the not. The contracted form for will not is want. And after that, we need a verb and a complement. Here we have an example. It says, you won't have time tomorrow. Or we may also say, he won't have time tomorrow. Then for questions, we just change the order of the elements in the sentence. And we get, for example, sentence, um, questions like, will they stay here? So you see, we start with the verb will, then we add a subject, then the verb, and then the complement. Will they stay here? And how do we answer that question? What would be the answer? Guys, if I ask you this, will they stay here? How do you answer? Mm. You may say yes. They will. Yes, they will stay here. Yes, they will, or yes, they will stay here. <laughs> or in the negative, we say no, they, they will no, they won't. They, they, they want won't or stay they here. will not. Okay. Uh, well, so as I know that you have already studied will and you know how to use it, let me just give you some time to remember about it and review it by making sentences. Um, I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms for you to work in small groups, and you're going to have to make five affirmative sentences, five negative sentences, and five questions. Is that clear? Yes. Yes, teacher. Hello. Okay, so, do you have any questions? When, when we... For the for the question, we use the will to the first to the sentence. Okay. Yes. So all the sentences and questions must take will. Okay. Okay. So there you go. Let me open the breakout rooms right now. You're going to have a couple of minutes to work on this. Ajá, la, uno, la, la, primera, la primera, ajá, ajá y la, y el último, la question. Okay, yo he pensado, pues sí, usar la primera, la afirmativa, después volver a hacer la negativa y hacer la pregunta también. Convertirla en la misma. Ajá, por decir, y sería casi igual, porque sería cinco las que vamos a hacer, pues. Uh -huh. Y Está bueno. transformarla en... Podemos aportar. Ajá. Quiero así. ver... Quiero...
layer okay um i will uh, i will eat the pizza in the weekend i won't uh, eat the pizza in the weekend and will you eat the pizza in the weekend okay and um, I I will go to the go to my work work uh, I will go to my work I won't go to my work and question is uh, will 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 I Oh will you? <laughs> will you? Will, uh, will you go to my work? No, porque estoy hablando de mí. De mí, verdad. Uh -huh. will I? Will I? Will I go to my job? My work. Okay. Mm. You. You will uh, read, read the book in the next month. Uh, you won't read the book the next month. Uh, will you read the book the next month? Okay. We will enjoy the evening. Uh, we won't enjoy the evening. Will you, will we enjoy the evening? Okay. Mm. En de negativo creo que dijo Will. Wow. Y, ah, ajá. Wow. Uh -huh. uh -huh. wow. uh -huh. uh, ok. Uh, we will uh, stay, stay in my home all weekend. Uh, we won't stay. In my home all weekend, uh, will we stay in my home all weekend? Okay. He will call back. We. He will call back. Uh, he won't call back. Will he call back? 
Will he? Ah, for what? Will he? I will cook the chicken on on Sunday. Uh, I won't uh, cook the the chicken on Sunday. Uh, will I cook the chicken on Sunday? <laughs> Hello, have you finished? No yet, teacher. Not yet, okay. Si se puede estructurar así, well, I. Well, I. Aquí tengo solo... Como que se pregunte uno mismo, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay. sí, sí. Quiero ver. Porque sí, las demás están bien. Ajá. You can will say you... it. You can use sí. will I. Yeah, it's fine. It all depends on the context. For example, um, if I ask you, let's say, will you come tomorrow? And then you may want to repeat or just to make sure that you heard the way this day, I mean, the right way. And you may say, will I come tomorrow? So that could be a okay. context where you can use a question like that one. Ah, okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. okay. Yeah. See well um I speak English uh, the next month she okay. uh, won uh, speak English the next month. Uh, will she speak English the next month? Okay. Uh, we Will go you call you later. Uh, we go call you later. Will we call you later? Okay. Later, Kata. Yes. Okay. Um, I will. Celebrate the bear day on March. <laughs> uh, I won't celebrate the bear day on March. And will I celebrate the bear day on March? Okay. Uh, they will celebrate Christmas. They won't celebrate Christmas. And uh, will they celebrate Christmas? Okay. Bye, Rosario. Bye, thank you. Gracias.
Welcome back. Um, first of all, let me ask you, do you have any questions, any doubts about any of the work you were doing? Any questions? Not sure. Okay, very good. So we're clear about the use of will. And then um, as we have already reviewed both the future will be going to and the future would will, we are going to learn about how to use both of them in the different situations and how to differentiate when to choose be going to and when to choose will. So today's lesson objective is the future tense is what we use to discuss our plans and hopes. In this lesson, learn how to use going to and will to convert to convert a statement to the future tense. English teacher Joe Science explains these two different ways to talk about future plans step by step using a simple fo formula. Ask and answer questions using going to and will as auxiliary verbs and practice discussing your future plans. For example, an upcoming vacation, holidays with family, or even your plans for later in the day. So let's go to the platform and watch the video. Okay, let me just get this. Okay, so we're going to start with a um, little listening exercise. And I want you to listen and get the answer to this question. What are the women's plans for the future? What are the women's plans for the future? So please, I need you to get the answer to the question. We're going to listen to two different girls or women talking about their plans for the future. So please write them down. Okay, so remember you have to write down what are the plans that they have. Hi everyone. By the end of this class you'll learn how to talk about future plans. You'll also learn how to use be going to and will as you're expressing your future plans. For example, I'm going to go to France for my next vacation. I'm not sure what place I'll visit yet, but I think I'll visit the Eiffel Tower. Before I explain the grammar involved in this lesson, I would like to play an audio program to illustrate how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully and take notes as I'll ask a few questions about this listening activity at the end. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay at my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call in tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Okay, let me play it a second time. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. 
and my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay at my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call in tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Okay, we are listening one last time and then we're checking. Activity at the end. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay at my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call in tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Okay, so now tell me, what are the girls' plans? The first girl, she's stay home. Okay, she will stay home. And the other one? The second woman, uh, she she going to she going to on the beach at the beach and fishing with with her cousin. That is correct. Any other thing that you can tell me about their plans? Stay home with Colson. Okay, one of them is staying home with her cousin. I mean, staying home, and then the other one is going to the beach with her cousin, right? Okay, yes. so now let's do another task. Let me play the audio one more time and I want you to write down the sentences that you hear that take will or going to. Any sentence that you hear, for example, the first one says, I'll just stay home, I'll just stay home. So please write down any sentences that you hear that take will or going to. Okay, let's listen. Mm -hmm. Will? I will. I. I'm I so excited. We have two. Sorry, we're listening one last time and then we're sharing the, the sentences. This is about this listening activity at the end. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. By the way, where are we going to stay? 
Oh, we can stay in my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call in tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Okay, could you get some sentences? Could you get any sentences with will or with I, two? I listen one for okay. going to, I'm going to relax. I'm going to relax, that is right. Any other sentences you get? Let's see, Maria del Rosario, did you get any? Uh, are you going to suffering every day? Okay. Anna, did you get any sentence you seen will or be going to? She will watch TV movie. Okay. Very well. Dennis, did you get any? Yes, the first one. Am I going to relax? I'm going to relax, okay. Fabricio, did you get any sentences from the conversation? Yes, teacher. Uh, Julia, she's going to relax at the beach with okay. the cousin. All right, with her cousin. Brenda, did you get any? Okay, so let me tell you about the ones that um, that we got. We got the first one, I'll just stay home. Remember that the first girl doesn't have a plan, so she just it talks about the the thing she's deciding at the moment, right? I'll just stay home. Then another thing she says is I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. Then we got the one that you mentioned. I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. And we're going to go surfing. We'll go fishing. I'll bring my surfboard. I'll call, he, I'll call them tonight. And we'll leave very early. Those are the ones that we hear in the conversation. As you see, um, we use both of the tenses, be going to and will. And if you could notice, we use be going to when talking about a plan, something that we have already decided. For example, that woman is going to go to the beach. So she has already thought about it, made a plan, and she even knows that she's going to go surfing and all that. So there's a plan behind that. Then we have the use of will for things that I that I just being decided at the moment of speaking, like I'll just stay home. There isn't any plan. Now let me play the video. We're going to listen to the explanation and then we're going to develop some practice. Now let me present this structure. What we want to do in this lesson is learn how to talk about future plans using going to and will. Now for the main part, both of those are quite similar when you express future plans or when you express things about the future. But what we're going to learn in this class is that we're going to use be going to whenever you talk about something that you've decided on. That's the key here. Something that you've decided on we're going to use, so let me give you a quick example about that. Let's say that you're going to take a vacation. You already bought the plane ticket. You already got permission from your job. So it's very unlikely that you'll change these plans. In order to express these ideas, you're going to use be going to to express that. So for example, I'm going to take vacations next week. I'm going to go to France. That's just a quick example there. Um, 
you're almost sure that that event will happen. On the other hand, let's say that you're gonna, you want to take vacation, but you don't know yet. You haven't even asked your boss about it yet. And so um, you're chatting with some friends and they ask you, so what are you planning to do for your vacations? And maybe you respond, well, I'm not sure. I guess I'll go to Europe next month, but I don't know. I haven't bought the tickets. I haven't asked my boss whether I can go or not. And so in order to express that idea that you haven't decided on, then we're going to use these expressions. I guess I'll just um, stay home. Th these are the examples here in the book, but um, going back to our example about vacations, I guess I'll travel, but I'm not sure where. Uh, maybe I'll go somewhere in, in Europe. I probably will go somewhere in Europe. And that's, I mean, those are just my examples on, on how uh, you will use these expressions. But the idea here is that if you're thinking about something that you're not sure about whether that will happen or not, then you're going to use these expressions towards the right. And that's the difference that we're going to learn in this particular class. So quickly before we talk about this particular chart, what I would like to do is just present the structure on how to form sentences with be going to. So the examples on the left side of this chart. In order for us to express our thoughts and ideas about the future with be going to, we're going to have some sort of subject. So in this case, I'm going to say um, I'm going to stay home for the weekend. Okay, That's what I want to express. Um, and so in order for us to form that idea, I'm going to have some sort of subject. This is going to follow the verb to be. And then this is going to follow going to. If you notice, going to is some kind of auxiliary to form our ideas in the future. And then this is going to follow the verb in its present form. And then whatever complements. So like in this case, I'm going to stay home for the weekend. So this is what I've decided on doing. That's my plan. And so if you see towards the left side of the chart, we said that we're going to use be going to plus the verb for plans that you've decided on. Now, let me talk about things that I haven't decided on. So in order for me to talk about possibilities that will happen, then I'm going to use the expressions towards the right. Now, let me talk about the possibilities of what I'm going to do at my house. And so um, what I want to do is present this structure towards the right, because what I want to do is I want to think about the things that I haven't made a decision on. So in order for me to express those ideas, what I want to do is I want to have some sort of possibility, if you will. All right. And so what do I mean by that? Well, the expressions such as I guess, all right, the expression maybe, uh, the expression I think, the expression I probably okay um, and so that's what I want you to notice here right so well I'm gonna stay home for the weekend I guess and then this is gonna follow a subject I will watch the football game all right and so I could do the same thing for the rest of the possibilities that I mentioned. These are just words that will guide me towards expressing that this is not something that I've decided on. Maybe I'll watch the football game. Uh, I think I'll watch the football game. I probably will watch the football game. Now, um, with this last one here, I would like for you to pay attention to that one. Um, this is not going to follow the subject, OK? Uh, it will just continue to follow. I probably will watch the football game. But for the rest, you will need that subject there in the middle. Okay. I guess I'll watch the football game. Maybe I'll watch the football game. I think I'll watch the football game. But however, with this one, you don't want to use uh, a subject there in the middle. I probably will watch the football game. 
The last thing that I would like for you to do is to think about your next vacation and make a plan of where you want to go and then within that plan think of all the possibilities and of course use this topic that we're covering today in class. So you may use these questions to help you with this exercise. How are you going to spend your next vacation? Where are you going to go? When are you going to take your next vacation? How long are you going to be on vacation? Okay, so as you heard in the explanation, we use the feature with going to for plans for those things that we have already decided on. And we use will for those things that we are not sure about. So um, if we are uncertain, we are not sure about something, and we may say that it will happen or that it will not happen in the future. And now in order to practice, I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms and I want you to talk about or to answer the, the questions you have here. So think about your next vacation. Do you really have a plan for that? If you do, express the plan by using be going to. I'm going to travel to the USA. I'm going to visit my cousin. We are going to go shopping and so on. So you talk about your plans. If you have not decided about the things you are doing or you, you will do on your ne next vacation, then you may just um, say some things using will. I guess I'll stay home. Um, maybe my family and I will go to the beach and we'll watch some movies and so on, right? So just remember about that. If you have a plan, use be going to. If you don't, use will. So let me send you to the breakout rooms and I'll give you a couple of minutes to talk about this. There you go. share the, the question, Fabricio, here in the, in the room, can you share, puede, puede oh, compartir. Okay. Yes, yes, no problem. I just sent the pictures to the WhatsApp group. Okay. Hey, Melvin, how are you going to spend your vacation? Next vacation. Um, I I will will I go to spend ah uh, cuánto voy a gastar verdad en sus próximas vacaciones ¿no? a dónde va a ir how many you spend a, a pasar cómo va a pasar sus próximas vacaciones uh -huh. I pensé que era como gastar. Uh, I think I, um, maybe I going to 
visit my family in La Unión. Okay. Okay, just let me remind you, if you are not sure about the things that you are going to do, then use will. So in that case, Melvin, if you do not really have a plan, you say, I'll visit my family in La Unión. Mm -hmm. Continue. Okay. In my case, maybe I'll I go to the beach and I visit to my family. In my case, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think I will go to the beach uh, or visit my parents and rest in my home. <laughs> the second question is well, my guess, the day, day vacation today. Today, okay. Do one day. Uh, 25 uh, Christmas and first, first in uh, January. <laughs> then, uh, uh -huh. Okay. How, how are you going to spend your next vacation? I'll probably will I stay in my home and I probably I uh, buy in the soup in the in the market supermarket yes mm. my case Um, uh -huh. the de, de qué verbo es? Gastar. Uh, ah, Dice, okay. ¿cuánto vas a gastar en tu próxima vacación? Um, well, mm -hmm. in that case, you're talking about question one, right? Is question one? Yes. Yeah, the one that says, yes, yes. how are you going to spend your next vacation? Sería, ¿cómo vas a pasar tus próximas vacaciones? Okay. Spend no siempre eh, se refiere a gastar. No gastar. No, también, por ejemplo, lo podemos utilizar en frases como spend my time with my family, or spend time with my family, como pasar tiempo con mi familia. Spend my vacation in Hawaii. Pasar mis vacaciones en Hawaii. Y frases así. No siempre se refiere al hecho de gastar o de dinero ni nada de eso, ¿ok? Ah, okay, ok, teacher. Thank you. All right. Good tip. Okay. All right, so we'll continue practicing this topic tomorrow. That will be all for today's class. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Thanks. Good night, teacher. Bye. Good night, everybody.